Yay. Yeah. I just thought about, see if I just thought about now when, when we named the boys and the girls in New Boogie Group, we, we didn't actually give you a name, did we? We just said Steve, right? Well, the funny thing about it is you started off, okay, you said, oh, sexy, sexy, you said sexy Steve and around. And then <laughs> I happened to be outside of an after show. Uh -huh. I think it was on 47, 93. And this, oh man, you, you, you voice sounds to me. You sexy Steve. He just said, no, 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 no. That's when I went back. I said, you got to change that, bro. <laughs> I went back to I went back there, so we got we got to change the name, bro. <laughs> hey, I apologize, man. But you, but see, by that by that time you taking over, so so you know me. I, I don't I I say something people don't agree with me. I don't care. I, okay. No, so. I, I I didn't mind it, bro. But when I said, oh no, and the guy comes, oh no, 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 we have to change that. I went back to say that we got to call for something else, <laughs> Steve M or something, because <laughs> uh, you know I I, I mean look, I, you know I try to be you know with certain girls that like. To be sexy, but you know you can't go around like that because the wrong, you know, you know what I'm saying. Now, not just not just not in this day and age. Yeah, but then think about it; it worked out all right because Prince was always Prince, so Steve is always Steve. You know what I'm saying? There you go. There you go. Plus, he, there's a Steve M. He thanks and the credits for the Dirty Mind album. Oh, really? That's me. Really? <laughs> really? Oh, okay. I don't believe you, but I believe you, man. Hey. Yeah, yeah, and then and then in the, he has a song, "Feel Good, Feel Better, Feel Wonderful." He goes, "Uh, uh, uh this other from my good brother Steve." Hey, really? that's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the legend is all is all sold in the fabric. Now speak. There, listen, you, there you go. Look, I, I, you know the reason why I wanted to talk to you is not for not for Prince actually. Uh, but uh, in fact, oh, before we get it, before I say why I'm talking to you, I just listened to the uh, Prince, um, the concert he did in uh, Portugal, later later concert he did in Portugal. I really like that one, you know, even, even a little... Uh, I have a, whenever we see each other, I have a Sign of the Times box CD for you, okay? Mm. It's a big box because the, the 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 way they formatted it, they formatted it, the CDs in like a twelve because the book is as a twelve oh, inch, I got you. twelve inch by twelve inch book format, and it has a lot of but the the, the 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 a lot of highlights in there, but Ooh. the main thing is the entire Prince. New Year's Eve show with Miles Davis. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's the that's one. the main. I got it. whenever we hook up. I got it for you, and it's like, I mean, they had it on YouTube for me. They took it off, but it's like that is you. You can anything that that is. Uh, they they played it. They did a thing on YouTube, and you know, I had you know we had heard it and we had seen the last part of it that it floated around, but to see that whole thing, mm. and I'm telling you, when I first saw it, I'm like. All right, first of all, because Miles Davis is the fucking dark knight. Because I knew he was going to get on the stage, but all of a sudden he just said, when? When did he walk on the stage? I didn't even have to go. When did he? I didn't even see him. <laughs> and I knew he was coming. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Well, this is interesting. But that is the, and Daryl saw it too, because I, I was telling him, oh yeah, it was on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Daryl saw it. They recognized the history. I think Yusuf might have seen it too. Mm -hmm. Jay Smooth saw it. Because well, it was on YouTube, they did, they did this thing before they released it. It's hot. Yeah. Well, listen, Miles Davis, baby. Well, interestingly enough, um, I'm I'm I, I tonight at, at tonight at base. Well, tomorrow morning, basically four o'clock. I jump on the train to get to Chicago, and then I wait a little while, and then I basically get to New York. Um, What's well, not tomorrow, but the next day at, at well, some, sometime in the morning, whatever. I guess it's. Uh, of what Saturday morning? Saturday morning, I think. Whenever I get to New York this weekend is what I'm trying to say, you know. And then, uh, 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 then, um, uh, well, yeah, that's it. I get to New York uh, this 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 weekend. And I'll be there for about two weeks. I got to do a whole lot of stuff, so I'll contact you. I guess I'm here. What I'm trying to say. Yeah, I uh, I got it. I got it for you, and I'll uh, bring it to you. It's, it's big, though, bro. It's a big thing. The vinyl one is even big. I, I, as you can see, the, this thing is big. I just let you know. It's big. It's, it's all right, man. I, I, I'll find a big bag or something. I don't know. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah get, get a big bag because I'm going to I'm gonna have to, I'm going to bring it to you in the box on the one hand and I, you know, I'll let you know. Have a bag for it. Right? <laughs> well, I'll tell you if what. I see a bag, I'll get it. <laughs> I don't know when I'm getting back to South Africa, but what I'll probably do is do, 
do some some uh, take it down to Virginia with me and try to do some kind of transfer. So I have the thing. I don't know what's going to happen. Who knows? Well, you know, it's it's it, it's it's a burden you're going to want it to carry. I hear you. I okay. Hear you. Now, score. granted, you can listen to because the whole thing except for the. The DVD is not on YouTube anymore because mm. they pulled it off. But all of the audio, mm. you can listen to it all on YouTube. Mm. But you need the box for the DVD because they pulled the DVD off. And also, you want to see the booklet mm. because the booklet has, you know, plus, you know, we get our name from the song uh, We're Breath of the Flesh. Yeah. We are the brothers of the new boogie group, so that kind of like, and there seems to be a longer version of Can I Play With You with Miles Davis. I'm listening, I was like, this shit seems longer. Mm. So oh. it's just a, yeah, I mean, I still haven't, re- I still haven't gotten all of it. So I'm still like, I'm still like shell shocked from the Miles Davis thing. So the concert you're talking about, yeah. I've listened to some of it, but I, the Miles thing is still, and I, like I think it's not as if I haven't seen it before, but it's like fucking Miles Davis. Mm. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. But that's not, where, that's not why I called you. I called you because of the Stevie Wonder situation. Yeah, 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 you're the only yeah, person I, when yeah, I saw, yeah. since I heard the that thing. That came out of nowhere. That yeah. came out of nowhere, too. I'm like, God damn, Stevie, what's, what's going on? Somebody said, damn, you see how fucked up the world is? Y'all made Stevie want to put a song out. <laughs> <laughs> but now there's two songs out, right? There's two. Two songs out. And he's cursing on one of them. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> but uh, before, what the fuck? But I, know, I know this is your, you know, your boy and all the rest of that stuff. But I, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. I'm going to start off. I'm going to just jump right in and be all incorrect or whatever. Um, no, man. No, Stevie. No, no, no. The, the, no, with, the, no, with the go-go and the rap? The, the, well, the rap, I'm not too concerned about the rap, but the lyrics even is lame. It's not It's not powerful. You know what I mean? Not, let which, me say, it's not which, powerful which, for the which moment. Song we, which, which song are we talking about? I guess it's the second song, which I, I guess is the way... It's, 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 if you listen to it, it's, it's like, I don't want to say juvenile lyrics, but it's like, yeah, okay, you rhyme. I don't think it's powerful enough. Not for the moment. Let's well, put it that way. Which, which song are we talking about? I think it's the, sec- the, the second one. Not, not, the, not the protest song. Not the one with the rap, but the other one. Oh, um, oh uh, Where Is Our Love song? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know that's that's you know what he he gave you the other one. He got at least well, he gave you the other one, which is like Stevie meets Go Go and rap. Where's mm-hmm. our love song? That's 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 the syrupy. You know, I just call it "Say I Love You." In fact, he said he wrote that song when he was eighteen. Oh, okay. In fact, he wrote uh, he wrote that song when he was eight. He okay. just you know, I the first time I heard this song was when they opened up the National African American Museum of History and Culture mm-hmm. in twenty sixteen, September twenty sixteen, mm-hmm. and he did the song he did the song live. Mm-hmm. Right? So I said, Oh, okay, so I've heard that song before. So that's that's the syrupy you song. Okay, that's nice. The other song was a little different for me, so I can't can't leave it in the arms of fate because yeah. one of those videos that you were looking at early mm-hmm. in the summer mm-hmm. he's talking about situations and stuff and he starts reciting something I said man that sounds like a song mm-hmm. and as it turns out he was reciting the lyrics to can't leave it in the hands of fate right. and you know the other song where's our love song you know there's really can't leave it in the hands of fate is, is, is the song that I mean, it's cool. It's not like it's not as if he's you haven't done nothing mm-hmm. or black man or any other protest mm-hmm. song. It's, that's the song he's putting out. He might have stronger things to say on other stuff. We'll see because it, either it's going to be on a compilation or it's going to be on his next new album. So mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, but where, where is that love song? Is you know that's like love's in need of love. To, you know that that type of thing. So you got to list both of them together. If he, if he just put out where's that love song, I understand where you're coming from. Mm. I understand, and, you know, from, from a projective, from a subjective point of view, people can like it or dislike. Yeah, it's cool, but if you both, I mean, so so okay, I, I understand you coming from where's our love song, and I, I hear you. What do you think about the other song? I, I think that again. Let me put it this way: again, I have to I have the uh, diminished expectations. I would say it's all right, but again, I'm trying yeah. to say something else. I'm trying to say something else. It's fine for what it is. Okay. But it's, right. I, I think, I still think it's the time that we are right now. It's, it, you know, it would be like, it'd be like, uh, it would be like, 
it would be like I, I'm not. It's not quite the same thing. It'd be like you have the civil rights, and then you have then you have the the the, the uprisings. You know what I mean? Well, you're singing right. about civil rights, but we're in uprising time right now, and that's I guess that's what that's what's bothering me. My uh, and, and there's another thing happening. I don't want. I'm not talking about schisms. But I'm, I'm, I'm increasingly getting this thing about older people. I'm talking about people like me. You know what I mean? Uh, trying to <laughs> trying to jump in the moment. You know what I mean? Um, uh-huh. uh, uh, and I want to say leading the way. A lot of people still try to lead. But jump in the moment. I mean, I, I, I got the Karanga's doing whatever he's doing. You know, other people. Yeah, well, we, we, we already washed away Sharpton or whatever. But, you know, I really think that older people like myself, we, we yeah we need to do what we need to do. Now, I, admittedly, Stevie is a is a is a singer, songwriter, whatever have you. And you know, I'm an audio dramatist. You know, what I mean, I got a play that I want to do. This I think is right for the moment. But I I don't ah man I just what I'm trying to what I'm trying to say is that yeah Stevie is 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 good whatever have you. But it ain't it ain't the it ain't the punch that that the streets is demanding right now is what I'm trying to say. That I guess that's okay, what I'm trying that- to say. I, I hear where you're coming from, but I, okay, now check this out, mm-hmm. all right? Now, because I've always, you know, I always say power to the people, power to the people, and you see right now the amount of people that are out there mm-hmm. beside the pro- see, protesting is one thing, and that's good, but you have to you have to transform that into power to make change, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay? Mm-hmm. So at least from the first standpoint, the amount of people that are out there early, I mean, look, I voted late this September. I've never, well, I've never had the opportunity. I've never voted that early before in my life. Mm. Never. All right? And they say the amount of people that's voting, people waiting in line, which is, is, is partially ridiculous, but at the same time encouraging. It's people waiting for 11 hours to vote in mm. Georgia. That's mm. like when Mandela first came out, people were waiting like all day mm. to vote. They're taking matters into their own hands, all right? And, you know, it's a bad best part. See, when you look at the title, you can't leave it in the arms of fate. Right, right. So from that perspective, I hear where he's coming from. I understand it could be harder, but just that you can't just, because that's what people did, that's what people done in the past. This time, I was like, no, take an active role. Like listen to the lyrics again. I understand where you're coming from, but I I understand it kind of fits into my mindset of like you don't leave it in the hands of it. You got to take control of your own destiny. Like I'm I'm not even watching these these confirmation hearings because that says that's pre that's 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 done. That's that's set. But the big difference is an overwhelming response with the election, and then continuing to do more. That's going to put pressure. Like, be, uh, uh, look, I don't agree with you, Trish Lee, on a lot of things, but one thing she said that stood out to me, we got to be ruthless and obsessive, mm-hmm. right, in empowering what we do in order to, the ultimate answer lies with us, not with anybody else. Mm-hmm. So that's the kind of little fire, that's, that's my little, so that's my little Brooklyn boy speaking to my elder teeth in the past and taking the train to the bed, you know, because well, I can well, stand those songs, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know, I... I think I think I left you behind on this because my whole thing is the other thing. I understand all this stuff, but remember, I have a I have another uh, another degree of, of of political awareness, you know. See, because mm-hmm. me, I mean, I know the political machine. I'm a, I worked on the Jesse Jackson campaign in '84. I've been following politics right. for all my for, for all my life. I mean, all struggles, would you name it, I'm there. You know what I mean? And plus, you know, as an as somebody who who tapes so many forums, <laughs> so many political forums, I might have a different mindset. Now, let's, just to map it out for you. See, to me, the problem that I also, not, not with his song, but the problem I have with this whole atmosphere is people keep on saying vote, 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 vote. Now, some people have finally said vote down ballot, which means a lot, right? But no one right. is actually, oh, no, say no one. Some people are trying to educate people. See, because let's, let's say you, you say you voted, right? Now, you're in New York, right? Yep. Okay. New York's a blue state. It don't matter how you vote. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me back up. Uh, no, I yeah. understand. I hold, understand. Hold, hold, let I me understand finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. You're going to jump. Let me finish right. before you, before you jump, right? For, for me... I have this thing for my political head right now is with ADOS for a number of reasons. Now, I know it's not going to register like that, but for me, black people especially, what we need to do, since you're in a blue state, is going to be Biden state anyway. 
You don't want to give him or, or anybody the, the popular mandate. So what you should be doing, yes, you vote down ballot to get to try to get some progressive things in, some some uh, what do you call it proposals and whatever have you. But up top, you don't vote for Biden. You do not vote for Biden. You either write in www.producejustice.com, which is Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., or you write in www.ados101.com, which is which is uh, which ADOS, the reparations movement. But you do not vote for Biden because that's what that's what they've always given us the the lesser two evils. Now listen to me very carefully. This is only for people when you know your state is blue and you know you, you know you know that's you, you're going to take Trump out in the blue state. In a red state, I would say the same thing for ADOS in a red state. If you know it's Trump state, you know you can't vote for Trump. There's no reason to vote for Biden. That is a throwaway vote. Then again, you write in up top, but on the on the bottom, that's where you have to look at your proposal. You get rid of those judges, those sheriffs, all those people, and that takes some research that takes some real work just going there and pushing a level or filling in the bubble or whatever have you means absolutely nothing that's my problem because it's almost like they're trying to resurrect they're trying to get the, the democratic party some sort of bona fides no ah nah <laughs> no no that's my problem with the just with, 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 with when, when you have the celebrity everybody say oh no we got to get him out we got to get him out but they're not trying to say wh where are you voting at you understand what i'm getting you understand what i'm getting at now i'll let you go hit it you know you understand what i'm saying yeah, hold on. Some some audio came into this thing. I don't know what the you you do. Do you hear it? No, I'm I'm cool on this. I got some. It's one of these. See, I, I got one of these smartphones, and I'm a little too dumb right now. What the? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm about to. I'm, a, I'm about. To, I might. I might be buying a a one plus um a one plus eight T, right? But you know, I don't. I don't deal with laptops. But I think I'm gonna have to buy a Pine sixty four laptop. Because uh, you know, I, I don't these smartphones. I have to get it, but um, and I need to upgrade mine. But uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to break down and get it and get a laptop, and I might get this Pine, which is a Linux laptop. Because so, I don't I don't really deal with, with laptops, so that's that's as far as I'm gonna go with the uh, mechanics by the end of the year. Hopefully, hopefully I can get back to South Africa. We'll see what happens. Well, that that that's the one you were talking with um, Reggie about, right? The 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 one plus year. The, 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 yeah, well, wait a minute! Don't you have a One Plus already? Yeah, I have a One Plus, but this is this one. I I need I need more storage. I need I just need a I need more camera storage. camera battery the whole the whole up and plus you know they're gonna go with these new networks and whatever have you. So I don't want to be buying a right. phone while I'm here and I'm saving some money because of circumstance. Then I really want to and who knows I might get a stimulus or something like that. If I get this money, then I'll be able to you know do because it, you know whatever. But but I I, yeah, I, I encourage people to just to try to get uh the the, the pine the pine sixty fours you know Len get a Linux phone man and get away from these 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 uh these androids and all this stuff so I don't know, mm -hmm. you know but. okay now getting back to your voting point yeah we uh, usually my family we do the whole down ballot thing mm -hmm. as well too and I understand where you're coming from it's going to be a blue state and what do you think about the attitude that Okay, so you get Biden in. It's easier to negotiate with him for what you want than it is with Trump. I would say this, given the political atmosphere, I hope that people will again, because what Trump has done, which is really, uh, un un I would say unbelievable, what he's done, he's heightened the political awareness so people know that you have to he fight. Has. You have to fight for your thing. My problem right. again is, you know, you have all these, these, these so-called liberals and these progressives, which to me, let me put it this way. They're both corporatists. They might call Trump a racist or they call Biden whatever they're going to call, but they're both corporatists. I don't call them no, I don't call them those kind of things. They're both corporatists. They're going to work for the corporation. So, I, so you got to defeat him with the corporation. They've already, he's already said what, what it was Biden said. He's going to give more money to the police and even that kind of stuff. And I say, why do you want to say defund the police? That's not what you want to say. You don't want to say defund the police. You want to say disarm the police. Demilitarize the police, because once you say defund, it just holds everybody. So I'm trying to say the people that are, that, that 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 can really have some political sophistication, right? They are leading you astray. Let me say you. I don't mean you, you, you. But they're leading. Yeah, I'm gonna say you, as in just the, 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 the whatever you, because they never are precise, and every all these movements can be hijacked, and they put poison pills and things, and all the rest of the stuff. And that's what that's what upsets me so much. Again, this whole thing about defund the police, it's stupid. 
You want to say demilitarize me? So you say, what do you mean demilitarize? Yeah, because because Bush, so with Bush, but with Barack Obama and Biden, they militarized the police. That's why you have a tank running down in some 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 little middle midwestern town. You have a tank down the street because Barack Obama and Biden gave them this militarized stuff. That's why you have this situation. So you well, got to say they've had tanks for a while, haven't they? Yeah, but I'm trying to see. Look. look Check check it yourself. Do do you do your due diligence? I'm just not no not no little middle sized town. They didn't have no tanks. When when in other words, when the Iraq War, I'm gonna say failed, they they decommissioned all those things and they sent their military equipment, not just tanks. I'm saying tanks as the as the symbol, but all that militarized equipment, all the rest of stuff that went to these local police forces. That's where they Weapons went. Weapons of war. And so now, you, see, so, here's the thing. I agree with you with the don't use the um. The, the term defund but that actually you know that came from the protesters they were saying defund the police I said I know, I know. You, shouldn't say, you shouldn't say I said I understand what the goals are but you shouldn't use that term because yeah. first of all the opponents are going to take it and run with it and you actually don't really mean that I agree with you you should have you know there's other things, particularly like not putting too much response. You don't need to call the police if you have a mental patient, you know, stuff like that. The other, but that's where it comes in. You, you, when you call nine one one, they can direct the the. If you if you call nine one one, you ask say for a fire. They can send a fire department. If you have a mental patient, you don't need to call the police for everything. That whole thing, they remove weapons. See, that's what I, weapons and military equipment of war. Yeah, and that, that whole street. mentality. So you can't have a 17-year-old kid walking down the street with an AK-47. So you can't have some, some they said, don't even call a military. Terrorist group wanted to kidnap the governor of Michigan and kidnap the governor of Virginia. But I'm, I'm, going, you know? be, I'm going before they got to that point. I'm trying to say something very simple. When you say the police and they all come in like stormtroopers, that's what you have. And that's what you right. don't want. That's all I'm trying to say. And it's, it's a simple right. thing. And I don't care what the protests and the police said, the, in the street said. I'm trying to say your, your leaders, when they pick up that point and they start saying that, that's why you have to vote down ballot. You have to start finding people yeah. that, that, that you can find that have some degree, the degree of political sophistication or at least a degree of, of communication skills that they can communicate the, the, the what's really going on rather than what we got here now. Anyway, so, right. so that's my little rant. <laughs> Not only that, but the people, okay, I'll give a perfect example. When um, Cuomo and Sharpton and them had their little um, um, little ceremony about um, not giving money to police, they don't do a certain thing, whatever. Is there something they were doing? I forget exactly what it was. And then there was a young black woman on the corner of 48th and 3rd. Because Cuomo said, oh, you don't have to protest. And she was like, no, overall people might have given Cuomo some good remarks. Young black woman, she with a bullhorn, she said, we don't want your crumbs. That's right. Okay? We don't want your crumbs. And I was very impressed by that. And I said, that is the direction we need to go. Because the ultimate power should lie with people, not any individual. We don't want your crumbs. All right? Mm -hmm. Looking on a minor level, how Hollywood's trying to push movies. They just look. When you went to see Tenet, were you the only one in the theater? Yep. Maybe, uh, well, be, be, uh, uh, two other people I went with, I think there was some other people I didn't even look back. A couple, a couple of other people there. Right. Now, that's safe to do that. Right. But in New York in particular, they wouldn't dare open a theater. Some theaters were open. Mm. In fact, uh, before, like in March, they had some theaters open. And but what happened is people are not going. Yeah. So even if the theaters are open, they're not going. They're trying to push it, push it. They're not going. Yeah, no, no, so that's what pe and the world people is are changed. using their power. Yeah. And it's like, we don't care what you say. That, that's the ultimate power move. Okay, unless shit changes, but I go into the movies. Yeah, well, even the movies are terrible. I mean, if you, when I looked at Tenet, you know, you know what I could, my review of Tenet was? I don't know if you, you saw it or whatever have you. It's very simple, you know what I mean? Oh, a black man saves white saves, saves white supremacy. You got a black man saving white supremacy. It's, just, it's the same old trope they've always had. You know, the the, the noble black man. The, the reason why I hated Prometheus is because, you know, you get Idris Alba. He says, oh, let me sacrifice. Yeah, sacrifice himself. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, and then, then, then he brings the Asian and, and the other wacko guy with him. You know, I'm just trying yeah. to say that's that's a movie trope. The, the, now they got the black right. man. You you can't make him a drug addict, so you got to go to the noble trope. And they always they, 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 I don't want to I want to get off on that. But here the problem is the system. If they say they they want to they want to influence Biden, where how far are you going to move him to where? You know what I mean? They, you know, you they, people are talking about Nancy Pelosi and and uh, and and what, what's it? Uh, 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 this whole st- the new stimulus and Nancy, but but you know Nancy Pelosi said, but I I know the people. They, I represent the people. She's talking Wolf Blitzer. She's talking Wolf Blitzer. I represent but, yeah. Wolf Blitzer. But there's people uh, need need food in the streets. But I I know what the people need. I represent them. What, what the hell? No, you don't. You just a uh, glorf. She knows she, she's a host. She started out as a hostess to the rich. That's how she started out. She's a hostess. <laughs> Her husband was rich and they had a big house and they, they hosted political things and then she just fell into it. She's a hostess. She's not, she's not, ah, this drives me crazy when, when and then people look like she's our leader, or whatever, and she wafted, it's terrible. Anyway, look, I don't want to keep you up because I'll go crazy, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go nuts on this political stuff. Because as an outsider, you know, I'm outside, insider. I see stuff because, you know, I, I'm not watching what you all are watching. It is, it's terrible. Okay, man. Look, anything else on, on, on this, man? I, I'll see you. I'll, I'll, I'll contact you over the weekend or whatever, you know. Yeah, text me. Always yeah. text me no, before you call. No, no worries. I was going to tell that to you because I'll see that. When I text you, I'm in a number. I'm boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And I got this box for you. Yeah, no way. And uh, yeah, what's yeah. What's oh, by good? the way, uh, you know, G- you know, Jeannie's mom passed away. No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, she passed away because Jeannie is right now. See, her mom passed away like early October, so she was done. In fact, today she was down there, and today she's traveling to Colorado to see her sister. Yeah. But unfortunately, they're saying her sister might pass in six months, so she's going uh, to a heavy is, time this, right this now. So this, this, she's kind of handling that. Yeah, well, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of deaths around. You know what I mean? Let me just call you over the yeah, weekend. Yeah, man. Okay. All right, man. I'm gonna holler at you later. Okay, later. All right. All right.